be living the dream you want right in front of you. Your desire to focus on division and anger has shattered what many people love most about the sport. Football was really a metaphor for our ideal world. Different backgrounds, talents, political beliefs, and histories as one big team and one big goal to do well, to win together. Your desire to focus on division and anger has shattered what many people loved most about the game. Football was really a metaphor for our ideal world. Different backgrounds, talents, political beliefs, and histories as one big team and one big goal to do well. I had to read that to, uh, one more time. You are asking us to abandon what we loved about togetherness and make choices of division. We will stand with you. We will stand with our flag. What does it mean? What does it mean if we buy a ticket or NFL gear? What does it mean if we don't? Is it the polar opposite of the easy togetherness we once loved in football? If it was simple, we loved you and you loved us with all our races, religions, different backgrounds, and policies. Simplicity. And a crazy world was pretty awesome. You, dear NFL, have taken that. You have lost me here. If you ever want to get off your knees and get to work on building bridges, let me know. I have found screaming about the problem and severe migraines or even standing in silence in front of them has it healed even one of them. On the other hand, finding the Chris uh, Kyle Frog Foundation building a team, rolling up her sleeves to get in the trenches during my time off, volunteering there outside of my paying jobs, has proven to make real changes. You have a lot of strong guys. I'm sure in the offseason, a lot of them could build some pretty big bridges if they care enough to do the hard work. That would involve getting off their knees and getting to work, though. If I could do it while I race two kids as their only parent and work through the greatest pain of my life, let's see if they can do it for the issues they say they care about. Go Longhorn, she says, and sick them. Sincerely, Taya. Folks, that is a woman who knows what she speaks of. And I guarantee the NFL is going to chew on that for a little bit. That's something that every American should chew on. The sacrifice that her husband made should never be forgotten. There's other causes that are definitely much more worthwhile. And on my first hour, I mentioned, imagine of those that were taking the knee talking about making a real difference, went to Chicago and stopped the killing there in Chicago where so many more people die in that city than anywhere else in the United States. They call that mini Fallujah. It's a war zone over there. It's out of control. And you have a snowflake mayor that has no clue. No clue. Obama didn't do a single thing. And many of our cities are like that, but Chicago being the worst. Death capital of the world. Washington, D.C., uh, used to have that title. Oh, yeah, the Blatomic people would joke. I lived in Alexandria, Virginia, and they would they would say, oh, be careful. You might see a body, you know, drift down the Potomac. Well, there was. I never saw one, but people that lived there longer than I said that that, that happened. They'd have to fish bodies out. But Chicago, ridiculous. But so many other worthwhile causes. And how about folks get off their knees and start helping these people in Vegas, um, start helping people in Puerto Rico get off their knees and start building houses, go to Texas, start trying to help people put their lives together. That's really good and decent work. That's real patriotism there. That's really loving on your brothers and sisters. See, this is the kind of stuff that really matters at the end of the day. I mean, man, when push comes to shove, when, when it's life and death, What's the matter of eating and surviving? 
I think people get so caught up in their own little world that they lose sight of reality. And I'm afraid too many people in our society have done just that. They see their own and they don't see anybody else. It just amazes me how many selfish people live in this country and the land of plenty. But the home of the free, the home of the brave. And I am thankful that we have a lot of brave people that have stood up and done what they they did. Because if, if they didn't, we wouldn't be here. And that's what I celebrate when I stand for the national anthem. That's what I think about when my grandfather and their, their grandfather and, and their fathers and et cetera did what they had to do when people... A lot of people just would never do it. They 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 were draft dodgers. <laughs> a lot of them became politicians, you figure. Oh, yeah. Dodge the draft. Oh, yeah. Wasn't it Clinton a do- dra- draft dodger? Hell, yeah, absolutely. A lot of it uh, goes explained. Do you think Obama actually served the country? No. Yeah, he, he destroyed the country. Well, he tried. Uh, didn't have the background, did he? Nope. Uh, Bush Jr. did. Uh, Senior did. Yeah, I'm not saying that all politicians are bad because they don't have uh, military experience, but it helps to understand what's in the hearts of these people, and it's definitely not shallow. Lots of prayers, folks, going out to you uh, for those in Vegas right now. Not forgetting our folks in Texas or Puerto Rico right now. We're Donald Trump now in Puerto Rico in the capital of San Juan in the wake of criticism from local politicians for allegedly a weak response to Hurricane Maria that destroyed the U.S. territory. Now, there's not a lot left, folks. It's been wiped out. But uh, he's there to try to figure out what they can do to just get the help where it's needed over there. I'd like to hear from some of you on Facebook at For the People Show if you'd like to send me a message or start a news thread and get involved. And if you haven't liked us or followed us, and preferably follow us, we like you liking things, but follow us and spread the show to as many people as possible. Um, because if you follow people, people follow you. They're going to see you reposting things. Some of you already do it, but I need a lot more of you to get involved there. And by the way, we do have that brand new coffee mug. Maybe you've seen some pictures of it on the Internet that we've posted. It's available for $20, red, white, and blue logo of four of the people. And it helps keep this broadcast on the air. A few bucks shipping and handling, and it can be yours. And you can order it right on our front page at ForThePeopleShow.com. I am actually going to take a sip out of it. Mm. That is really good. 11 ounces, by the way. And that big flag, it says, For the People with Keith Allen on it. Please pick one up right now if you love the show. And it's a great way to share the show as well. We'll be back with much more of For the People live across America right after these messages. It's unlike anything you've ever been through in your life, man. I was driving. This uh, kid threw a grenade at us and went right over our vehicle. It was 12 years old. The shockwave went through my head, rattled up my brain, and left. Danger is around you 360 degrees at all times, and you can't unlearn that. It's impossible to describe the sacrifices these men and women have made to protect our freedoms. And the job of rebuilding their lives is massive and growing every day. Many will need the programs offered by the Wounded Warrior Project for years to come. I didn't know what PTSD was. All I knew was I was having nightmares. And when I got released, my reintegration was, go check in at the VA, man. My first coping mechanism was use drugs. Just numb it, don't feel anything. I was angry. I'm trying to pull myself out of that right now. Your gift today of $19 per month will honor and empower these veterans so they can aid and assist each other. 
The Wounded Warrior Project is a life raft. I can say this without question that I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for it. The Wounded Warrior Project is, is the first step getting back out into the world and reforming yourself outside of the service. Call or go online with a pledge of $19 a month. You'll receive this Wounded Warrior Project blanket and your gift will provide critically needed programs that rebuild lives. That was my first feeling of actually being a part of something bigger than myself again. Well, I lost a few really close friends overseas, and if I quit, I'm going to let them down, and I'm not about to do that. I'm learning to face my fears head on. To trust and see what happens at the end. It's a long process, but I had to drive and desire. Please, call or go online with your gift right now. For the people is there. Introducing the official For the People coffee mug, patriotic as can be, in featuring the colorful red, white, and blue For the People logo with Keith Allen on a ceramic 11-ounce coffee mug, perfect for any beverage of your choice. This mug is a great reminder of what we stand for, God, country, and family, with conservative values and good old-fashioned common sense. To order your For the People coffee mug, pay just $20 plus $3.99 shipping and handling at ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. With all the choices out there to enjoy some entertainment, wouldn't it just be nice to have something that didn't cost an arm or a leg? I found something that does just that. It's called 123 Ready TV. It's one of the most remarkable apps available to start watching all of those movies and TV shows for one incredible price, just $19.99. And that's a one-time only price. Recap, all your movies, current and classic, and sports and news, and so much more. So cut the cable and stop spending money at the movies when you can truly have it all at your fingertips. No commercials, just all the entertainment you desire. 123 Ready TV is available for Windows and all Android devices. Get your 123 Ready TV for just $19.99 at ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. Just click on the store page to get yours now and start enjoying entertainment the way it was supposed to be. Fun. For the People has a special opportunity for you. If you own a business and want to gain a national audience that is loyal and will do business with you, imagine being able to get your product and or service into the hands of tens of thousands of people each week. Sponsorship opportunities are now available at rates you can afford. Finally, the show you love with your business supporting what we do in partnership. Start running your commercials today. To contact us, go to ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. For the People continues, Keith Allen, and we're going to try to do some justice uh, for some of the folks, at least, that have lost their lives, because I feel like if we don't remember them, then some of us, like some of the movies and some of the images that we see, um, I, I just don't want us to become immune. To, uh, it, it just, the, it just it doesn't do anything anymore. I mean, in this digital world that we live, we see these images on Facebook and Twitter and Snapchat and, 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 and it, ridiculous sound and gory pictures and gory movies and gory video games. And I think it nullifies people's senses. You know, there's plenty of uh, good scriptures in the Bible. And one of them is saying, Lord, give me a soft heart. Give me a pliable heart. Uh, I don't like to feel bad. I don't like to feel sad. I'm a very upbeat person. I love life. Uh, I could be the life of the party, if you will. And that's the kind of person that I am. I wake up happy every single day. Not everybody does. Large portion of society is, is depressed. They don't want to talk about it. Sometimes they hide it, telling jokes, or maybe they carry excess weight. Uh, they overcompensate. They drink. They medicate, self-medicate, all sorts of things. But they say 
that uh, over 70 percent of Americans are depressed in one way or another. And the news.